What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of No Deflection Gaming. This is your boy No Deflection and today we are looking at Thrill of the Fight. The best boxing experience you will ever happen to come across on VR. And yes, I know this game has been out for some time on VR and it's been covered a million times, but I have to say, with COVID still being a thing, you all need this in your life. Right here I'm showing off the damage and the precision that you can pick up when you're punching a dummy in throw the fight which is incredible in my opinion i love 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 this feature so throw the fight is basically the best boxing experience you're going to get in any vr situation hands down the short and sweet of it is if you want a great workout on a vr experience throw the fight is the way to go don't you dare come to me and tell me that beat saber is a better experience for like weight loss and sweating after two minutes of doing this you can be sweating your butt off even going against one of the easiest opponents because you're not just standing still swinging your arms around you're actually moving around you're moving your whole body you're slipping jabs you're covering up your face you're covering up your body you're trying to throw a punch trying to throw a jab trying to throw a hook whatever it is it's a great 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 way to do it oh by the way guys hit that subscribe button it always helps me out i really appreciate it Hit that like button if you want to. I always, always appreciate those subscribes. Thanks, guys. So let's get into an actual fight with these guys. So let's take a look at... Obviously, your surroundings are pretty meh. You know, it's not the greatest experience. But the big thing where this game comes in for a win is when you're actually throwing punches. The distance to which you throw and the amount of force that is shown as far as the vibration of the controller, really, really makes this realistic. So when you're throwing a punch or you're trying to block a punch, every time he hits that glove, like when you're blocking a punch, you'll get that vibration and letting you know, hey, you block that. When you throw a punch and you actually hit him in the stomach or the head or wherever, wherever it is, you're going to get that vibration, that sense of you actually hit something. Um, obviously, you know, you should always warm up before doing this kind of uh, experiences, but I'm going to tell you right now, you could shadow box with this on and still get a great, you know, warm up and then just jump right into a fight. Now, that's the best part about this game is like you're going to be moving around. As you can see the box around me, I'm in a 12 by 12 area and that makes a huge difference. If you're in a smaller room and you've got four foot by four foot, you might be able to make it work. Just be aware that you might be punching something. You know, don't punch your dog. Don't punch your friends, whoever, whoever's there with you. Just be very careful. Um, like I said, I'm in a 12 by 12 area. I'm actually moving around my opponent, opponent, trying to create distance, trying to create gaps, trying to evade his attacks and throw punches along with it. I mean, it's just a, such a great scenario boxing game. It it, it really does show um, the realisticness of boxing. Uh, this is coming from somebody who's boxed for a couple of years, um, avid you know workout you know person. I I just I can't get over how good this game actually is, and I have to admit. I don't know why it took me so long to pick this up. I just guess I didn't have enough time. But I finally saw it on sale, and I was like, yes, it's time to finally jump into the fight. So let's just talk about the actual scenarios when you're fighting somebody. So when you're fighting them, as you can see, as you're beating them up, and as you're hitting them in certain spots, you're going to see marks show up on their body, on the like at the body, the head, the chin, the ear. You know, if you're throwing a bunch of hooks, the side of his face is going to see it. Uh, I think that's a great aspect that's just showing you actually where your hits are landing um if you are to accidentally let's say throw a, a hook and it goes too high you, you will completely miss you might even brush the top of his head but you won't get that full vibration sensation if you get a full-on great strike as you saw there i got a yellow which is like i believe a medium um potency if you get a perfect strike it, i believe it's an orangish uh, red if i'm not mistaken the blues are less power red is the most power and the best uh, accuracy so uh, I'm going to let this match play out for a little while. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for every three times he goes down, the fourth time, if you knock him out, knock him down that fourth time, that's when they call the match. Um, and once we get to near the end of this, we'll talk about that a little more. Okay, and that was the fourth knockdown, and this is when the ref basically says, all right, the fight's over, you know, I'm in the second round, <laughs> only one minute left, so obviously the guy didn't last that long, but I've been doing this for quite a bit, and he's one of the easier opponents. Um, 
once you've beaten your opponent, you can beat up the ref if you want, which is always a good time. You can also beat up your opponent even more. I don't believe it shows any additional damage to them, but it's just, I just thought that was a really funny thing they let you do. I thought it was hilarious. So if you think the ref's trying to throw you, throw the fight, you know, you should beat him, a little, beat him up a little bit more. All right, so this next guy I'm going to show you is a little further into the game. Um, the reason why I'm showing him to you is because there's a one big difference. So I'm a six-foot person. This guy in game is probably six three, six four, and it shows you that you know they're actually going to make you punch up in an upward direction, which is a huge benefit, especially for boxers. Um, you normally want to always be punching not necessarily straight forward, but at least at a slight upwards angle. Um, the assumption is always you're going to be aiming for the head of your opponent. And they're never going to be at your height. You know, they're always going to be a different height. It's always easier to punch down, so you should always be punching up in general. I found this great. So, like I said, guys, Throw the Fight's a fantastic workout experience. The best, in my opinion. Um, I highly suggest it. It's like $10 on the store normally. I got it on sale for $7. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, once again, this is No Deflection Gaming. And this is your boy, No Deflection. And as always, guys, if you like the videos, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It always helps me out. I'm just trying to make more videos for you guys. And we're going to start diving into some RPGs and MMO shortly. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again, all.